Today I'll be continuing my acne treatment series with a video on how to use salicylic acid for acne. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Janet of jdiva.com and on this channel and on my blog, I talk on skincare tips, relaxed hair and personal development. If these are topics you enjoy, please click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you know when the next video goes live. Salicylic acid is very popular in skincare. If you're into skincare or you've dealt with acne, you must have come across salicylic acid. It is so common in a lot of cleansers, in toners, and in treatments. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys what exactly it is, how it works, and how you can use it for the treatment of acne. Salicylic acid is a bitter hydroxy acid made from willowback. It's a chemical exfoliant, but in contrast to alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid, it is lipophilic, meaning it is lipid loving. So it has the ability to cut through the lipid matrix into the pores to clean out the pores. So it's a very important skincare ingredient for those who are oily and very acne prone. Over the counter, you can only find it within 0.5 to 2% strength. Now, acne arises primarily when our pores get clogged. Now, our pores can get clogged from excessive dead skin cells that haven't been sloughed off properly, or when our oil glands produce excessive sebum, this can clog our pores, or when there's inflammation arising from the presence of acne-forming bacteria. Now, acne can be non-inflammatory or inflammatory. The non-inflammatory ones are the usual blackheads and whiteheads. These are comedonal acne, or the inflammatory ones known as the papules, pustules, or nodulocystic acne. Salicylic acid is keratolytic, comedolytic, and has anti-inflammatory properties as well. What this means is that it can dissolve the glue that holds dead skin cells together, and it can also cut through the lipid barrier of the skin, get into the pores, and clean out the pores of sebum that can clog the pores and trigger an acne breakout. Now, this makes it the first choice for the treatment of blackheads and whiteheads. So if you're oily and acne prone, you definitely need salicylic acid in your skincare routine. Because salicylic acid comes in various formulations, there are various ways you can use salicylic acid in your skincare routine for the treatment of acne. You can use it either as a rinse off product or as a leave on product. Now, if you deal with very sensitive skin, you'd want to use salicylic acid as a rinse off product. This minimizes the contact time your skin has with the product, so the irritations will be less. Now, salicylic acid, like most skin actives, can be very irritating, can be very drying on the skin, so you don't want to overuse it. You always want to start slow a few times a week and then work your way up to daily usage. If you get to daily usage and it's still very irritating, you can always tone it down to fewer days in the week. Now, it can also leave your skin sensitive to the sun, so you always want to use sunscreens in the mornings, always. Now, if you're using a salicylic acid cleanser, you want to start off by wetting your face with lukewarm water, taking a few pumps of the salicylic acid cleanser, lathering it up on your face, and leaving it for one to two minutes for it to work on the skin. And then you want to rinse off and then follow up with a moisturizer. Always use a moisturizer afterwards and a sunscreen if you use this in the morning. If you use a leave-on salicylic acid product, you want to cleanse with a mild cleanser and then follow up with your salicylic acid leave-on treatment. And then you want to go over this always with a moisturizer, a lightweight, oil-free moisturizer. Now, especially for leave-on salicylic acid products, you don't want to mix it with other skin actives like vitamin C and retinoids. It's going to overly irritate your skin and alternate them on opposite sides of your skincare routine, maybe using one in the morning, or in the night. Now you can layer your salicylic acid. You can use a salicylic acid cleanser and follow up with a leave-on salicylic acid product, especially if you've worked your way up to that point. Not for beginners. And if you have sensitive skin, this is a no-no for you. This will dry out your skin. Yes, salicylic acid could make your acne worse before it gets better. Now, salicylic acid increases your skin cell turnover rate. Now, like retinoids, this causes your skin to begin to exfoliate, bring out new skin faster than it would usually do. So when there's increased shedding of dead skin cells, clogged pores deep within the skin would come up. So it seems initially like your acne is getting worse, but this is just a temporary thing. This happens with a lot of skin actives that increase your cell turnover rate. I'll be linking a playlist here that has other acne treatments you can use over the counter. 
if you found this video very helpful please give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button below i'll see you guys on the next one bye